Daphne Mitchell's life has turned out to be fairly easy going. She's married her childhood sweetheart Owen, she's a doctor, she's restoring a beautiful barn into a brand new house for her and her husband to live in. Things seem to be going right on track for Daphne. That is until her husband decides to tell her that he's been seeing someone else. Everything that Daphne once knew then goes into a complete tailspin and she starts to question everything about her relationship. If it even was real, if anything he said to her has even been true. And then when an accident occurs that requires Owen to move back into her home, she's even more confused and even more stressed to figure out exactly what it is she needs to do in order to either save her marriage or end it completely. In Kristen Cusack Lewis's book, Save Me, we follow Daphne as she tries to figure out exactly what it is that she needs to do. And I will give everyone fair warning, if you are in a relationship or you are married yourself, I would not read this book because it made me really think about how my relationship is going and I had to go stay the night with my boyfriend because I was really scared and I felt really alone. The novel overall I thought was really, really captivating. We don't see a lot of stories that deal with things like affairs that deal with the victims per se in such a detailed and wonderful narrative of the grieving process of what happens when someone finds out they are being cheated on, all of the things that kind of pop into their head as the time goes on. Daphne came to life for me. She was just this headstrong woman, someone that I could really relate to because she's a very type A personality person and if you know anything about psychology, type A people are very organized, they are very particular of how they want things, they are basically the people who are some of the most OCD people you will ever meet. Things have to go their way, otherwise things kind of go completely out of control, and they don't like it when things change. So I really related to Daphne in a lot of ways in this novel, and it read so much more like a journal to me, because the way that her narration throughout the entire story played out, it almost felt as if you were reading her recounting all of these events in a journal, as opposed to it just being a normal novel. And I thought it made it much more captivating. I felt like I, my heart was gripped the entire story as I was reading through Daphne's perspective and reading literally every little thought she had, which made it seem more like a journal to me. Every little thought she had throughout the course of this novel was played out, it was described, it was deepened, and it just made her character so much more alive, so much more real, that I was stunned. The one thing though I really didn't care for in this novel was some of the other minor characters that were involved, mostly because it was more along the lines of they played their parts really well. Now like I said with The Maze Runner, which was my last book review, The Scorch Trials, the characters that are supposed to kind of make you feel a little uneasy, they made me uneasy. Mostly it was a lot of Daphne's friends who were trying to support her but really weren't understanding her and were just throwing their opinions and their advice at her with no repercussions, not even considering how she was even really feeling. That made me really uneasy because in that kind of a situation you can't just plummet all of your opinions and ideas on a person who is grieving and who is processing this. No matter how hard you try to be supportive and to be, you know, there for them, it's really hard to deal with this kind of a situation and give advice in a way that is going to be helpful. Because every single friend that Daphne had throughout this novel was just spouting out their opinions on Owen and things about their relationship that had almost nothing to do with what Daphne was really trying to figure out. And so while that made me uneasy, it also made a lot of sense, just like in The Scorch Trials where the characters are supposed to be that way for the story and so it didn't upset me too much that they were like that. I still didn't like them as people though in those situations because I felt that they were just pummeling these ideas into her head to get her to try to go their way when she really just wanted to go a completely different way and they were not accepting it. But it doesn't really seem to help in any way and I like that Kristen really played that in with the story because it is exactly what happens when people who are not in the relationship but are friends of the person who is cheated on try to get involved in the grieving process and trying to help their friend. It's, they think that they're helping, 
but they're really not. It was fantastic because it gave such a great perspective on marriage and things that happen in marriage, on affairs, on cheating. The character of Daphne herself just emulated this woman that I think a lot of people need to be able to read about because they can really gain a lot of perspective on their own relationships if they're going through their own problems like they've had they've gone through an affair themselves and are kind of at a point where they're not sure what to do i think this could really help a lot of people because it puts things in a way that you know maybe you didn't exactly think about and like i said it made me really question my relationship because she came up with so many questions that made her think back on a lot of things in her relationship that maybe she did wrong that would have she should have noticed more and it really made me kind of worry because i started worrying if my own boyfriend may be cheating on me so i had to go stay the night at his place just so i could feel better even though he's not cheating on me i just it made me really really scared because as a person who has not have been cheated on before that's something i never want to happen and so to read this character so deeply and feel so deeply for her i was almost afraid for my own relationship which is weird i've never had that happen before so the fact that kristen lewis did that to me is that's, that's an achievement in its own. But yeah, that's all I really had to say about Save Me by Kristen Cusack Lewis. I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. If you've read this book, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, if there was anything that kind of jumped out at you, any characters you really liked, anything about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.